Abortion does irreversible damage. Human life is precious and valuable. And when human life is taken away, it is always heartbreaking, regardless of how valued they were, how loved they were, how big they were. Human life is precious. But what happens when we live in a culture that devalues human life so much that we've actually convinced women that the best thing that they can do is kill their children? Oh, you want to you wanna have children in the future, but you don't feel prepared now? Well, you have to sacrifice your child right now for the children that you're going to have in the future. Oh, you want to have a career or you want to go to school? You have to have abortions in order to accomplish those things in your future. We have duped women into believing that they have to kill their children in order to be successful in this world. That's about the most anti-woman message that I've ever heard. And here's what's even worse. Abortion hurts. Abortion creates so much heartbreak, so much grief, and that it is completely neglected and ignored. Because we live in a culture where, where we have to keep the facade up. Abortion is normal. Abortion is great. Abortion is awesome and happy and something that we should dance about in front of the Supreme Court. That's the culture we live in. But where does it leave women? Devastated, alone, isolated, and suffering in silence. And this woman is proof of that. This is a woman that continually shows up on my For You page because she posts most of her videos about her abortion and the grief and sadness that came with it. She said, I was never told I would feel so damaged after my abortion. They assured I had all the info I would need, but in reality, I couldn't even begin to describe the heartbreak I felt walking out of the clinic. The moment she left that abortion facility, she was filled with heartache. How did I become so connected to a soul I never met? Because it was your baby. It doesn't matter how tiny they were, how small, how vulnerable, for how long you knew that they existed, that was your child. And now they are gone. And that grief is undescribable. But that's what the abortion industry does to women. They make them believe that abortion is truly the best option for them. And then they leave them vulnerable, heartbroken, and devastated, and do nothing to repair that. Because when we live in a culture where we feel like we have to put abortion on this pedestal and make it seem like such a wonderful option, these women feel like they have to silence themselves because they don't want to give abortion a bad name. But not only does it affect women's mental and physical health, as this woman also described, it changed her relationship with her partner, the person that she loved, the person that she created this baby with. She said, I didn't expect to feel so disconnected from him after my abortion. We have loved each other through so much. I figured this was just another battle we could fight. She then said, I was so angry. He couldn't grasp what I was feeling. And then I realized this is why women carry such strong connections to each other. She loved her baby. She believed the lie that the best thing for her and her family was to end that baby's life and then did not feel like people understood the grief that came with it. And I think, again, part of that is because of the culture we live in. Men are told that abortion is no big deal. Men are told that abortion is empowering. Abortion is a men's way out to responsibility. Oh, they don't want to have to care for a child right now. Well, they just convince your girlfriend to get an abortion. All your problems go away. And then when your girlfriend is in deep grief, they don't know what to do or how to handle it. And again, leaving women in the dust. I don't know how this demographic of women has become so ignored in our culture, but I am thankful that she is sharing her experience and what abortion is really like, because this is the ugly truth. Abortion is absolutely devastating because a child's life was taken away. And that's something that our culture needs to be forced to see and acknowledge that abortion is heartbreaking. Women deserve so much better than this. Women deserve to be supported. This girl didn't want an abortion. She said again and again in so many of her videos, she felt like it was the right thing to do. Why? Why, because Planned Parenthood told you it was the right thing to do? How is it that the abortion industry has set women up to where if they don't feel prepared to have a baby, killing that baby is the only option. Not supporting them, not making sure they have the resources and the help to carry that life, give birth and raise that child. That should be the response. 
When we're talking about unexpected pregnancies, our first response should always be, how can we support this? How can we make this easier? How can we make sure that these women don't feel alone and scared for what is to come? They should be able to celebrate the life of their child and know that they have a village and a community that's willing to walk alongside them. But the abortion industry doesn't make money off of that. They don't make money off of women being connected to resources. They don't make money from women being empowered to choose life, to protect their child. And women should also be protected from abortion. They are absolutely targets of the abortion industry. And sometimes the best way that we can protect women from abortion is by speaking truth boldly. That life begins at conception. That abortion ends the life of an innocent human being. And that there is never a justification to take an innocent life. Abortion hurts women and women deserve better. 